Hey guys, welcome to Home Studying Through Our Eyes. Today we are going to do a walk around of the yurt. So we got our yurt up and we also got a few videos here and there of the yurt being put up and a picture video. So if you'd like be sure to check that out. But we also got questions of can we do a yurt walkthrough. So that's what we're going to do right now. So come along and check it out. This is our 30 foot almost completed Pacific yurt. Do a little walk around, check everything out. So our Tyvek is still long and draping over. I'll show you underneath the platform in a minute. We have the drip edge at the bottom there that's drilled into the flooring. And obviously the canvas that goes over top of the drip edge. We will be staining that drip edge for weather protection as well as possibly coating the door a little better with weather protection. These are just temporary platforms. There's flowing river in the window. But as I said, these are just temporary platforms. We plan to make a deck which will be over top of the door, hanging out the edges to keep rain from getting over top of the door and give us a little walkway to get into the yurt. Uh, while we're here, right quick, this is the design of the floor that I'll be doing. I bought this sanded plywood flooring particularly to do this burning technique. I think it'll come out really well. What do you guys think? This is the cooler side of the board. Some of our other boards are going to look like that. But I figured uh, it would look cool with both of them mixed throughout the bottom of the yurt. <clears throat> more temporary platforms that we had used because now we're as you can see getting to the slope and it was you know five foot getting up to level where we needed to be in order to work on the top cover and the side covers and the insulation come around back here as you can see, we still have a lot of cleaning up to do. Some widow makers, as my buddy Scotty calls them, to get out of the trees. Now we're coming all around the outside to our first window. The yurt has three windows all together. We face that one. Get out of the sun for you guys. We face that one away from the sun, pointing towards the woods, pretty much just to get an alternative view rather than just two windows up front. But as I said, the two windows up front are facing the sun to allow for light if need be, especially in the winter time where it's going to be quite dark out here. So we come around to the opposite side and we have our other door. You can see the other door through there. That was a double French door. This is just a single door. Um, 
Um, we planned it that way for two exits. And we also wanted it over here because our wood is mostly going to be stacked over here. And we plan to put the wood stove also on the other side of the yurt rather than the heated side from the sun. So we figured over in this area would be coolest in winter. So we figured that's where we put the warmest thing that's going to be warming us. While I'm back here, I'll take you guys underneath the platform. I'm sure there's plenty of questions and wondering what's going on down here. So once we get these walls all enclosed all the way around, we'll have plenty of storage under here, which we also had planned from the beginning. The reason to make these posts elevated. Tie back to the bottom. And then OSB board. And then one and three eighths insulation. And then another fourth inch of plywood for the flooring. <clears throat> Swinging back around front here. Come to our other two windows. One there and one between the door and the other window. Sorry if you got a little dizzy on that one. So now I'm just trying to give a little bit of an idea of the surrounding area of the yurt. We just passed all of our wood and our wood stacks up here a little more. We have nut trees going. Two walnuts and one almond. All of our tents and easy ups and gazebos that we stored all of our stuff in. The yurt stuff to be more specific. Are still up. Right up near the nut trees again. And that about completes the walkthrough. If you guys have any other further questions or comments, just let us know. Um, we're at the point right now where we have a little bit of extra time and we're trying to answer as many questions on our videos as possible. So feel free to ask anything. From your construction to platform construction to, you know, things like cost and time and uh, how hard it was. 
So, uh, yeah. See you soon. Hope you like the walkthrough. Take care. Have a nice day. Check you later. Peace.